hello friends welcome all of you today in this video we learn about the nursing care plan on abrupt placenta abrupt placenta this is very very important nursing care plan jo amesa exam mein pucha jata hai ya hum iska practical file mein humko ye likhna padta hai to isliye humne ye video taiyar kiya aaj ka to aap video ko zarur dekhiyega तो आइए देखते हैं नर्सिंग केयर प्लान ऑन एब्रेप्टियो प्लेसेंटा या एब्रेप्टियो प्लेसेंटे सबसे पहले देखते हैं एब्रेप्टो प्लेसेंटे क्या होता है एयर एब्रेप्टो प्लेसेंटा आल्सो कॉल्ड प्लेसेंटल एब्रप्शन मींस इज वेयर द प्लेसेंटा सेपरेट फ्रॉम द यूट्राइन वाल प्रीमेचरली यूजली आफ्टर द ट्वेंटी वीक ऑफ जेस्टेशन मीन्स एब्रेप्टो प्लेसेंटा को प्लेसेंटल एब्रेप्टो एब्रप्टन से के नाम से भी हम जानते हैं इसमें प्लेसेंटा यूट्रेन बाल से प्रीमेचोरी सेपरेट हो जाता है और ये लगभग जो हमारा जेस्टेशनल पीरियड है ट्वेंटी वीक के आफ्टर ये शुरुआत होता है और इसके कारण हेमरेज प्रोड्यूस होती है बहुत अधिक ब्लीडिंग होती है इट इज़ ए कॉमन कॉज ऑफ ब्लीडिंग ड्यूरिंग सेकेंड हाफ ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी मीन्स दूसरे ट्राइमेस्टर में होने वाली ब्लीडिंग का मुख्य कारण एब्रेप्टो प्लेसेंटा हो सकता है तो ये था हमारा डिजीज एब्रेप्टो प्लेसेंटा प्लेसेंटल एब्रेप्टेशन तो ये देखते हैं हम नर्सिंग केयर प्लान किस तरह से तैयार करते हैं तो सबसे पहले नर्सिंग मैनेजमेंट ए वाइटल रोल इज ऑल्सो अपेल्ड बाई द नर्स ड्यूरिंग दिस सिचुएसन Uh, the air accurate assessment would be one of the baseline data for all healthcare provider to plot the care plan for the patient here nurse uh, nurse play vital role to make this care plan means by collecting different baseline data about the uh, uh, abrupt placenta related problem with the client first step of this care plan is nursing assessment here nursing assessment assess uh, for sign of shock especially where uh, when heavy bleeding occur assess if the bleeding is external or internal monitor uh, uh, contraction if separation occur during labor obtain baseline uh, sign uh, um, vital signs next assess for time the bleeding began the amount and kind of bleeding and intervention done when bleeding occurred if it start before admission assess for the quality of pain after uh, the these assessment means related to abrupt placenta means one is the important assessment is excessive bleeding due to premature separation of the placenta on the basis of nursing assessment we plan here the nursing diagnosis फर्स्ट एयर डेफिशियंट फ्लूड वॉल्यूम रिलेटेड टू द ब्लीडिंग ड्यूरिंग प्रीमेचर प्लेसेंटल सेपरेशन मीन्स प्रीमेचर सेपरेशन के कारण जो एक्सेसिव ब्लीडिंग हुई है उसके कारण मदर में फ्लूड वॉल्यूम की कमी है तो इसको हम लिखेंगे नर्सिंग डायग्नोसिस में डेफिशियंट फ्लूड वॉल्यूम रिलेटेड टू ब्लीडिंग ड्यूरिंग प्रीमेचर प्लेसेंटल सेपरेशन दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट नर्सिंग डायग्नोसिस तो नेक्स्ट देखते हैं हम इसका डिजायर आउटकम इंटरवेंशन ये हमारा गोल होगा या डिजायर आउटकम टू मेंटेन नॉर्मल फ्लूड वॉल्यूम लेवल और दिस नर्सिंग डायग्नोसिस दैट इज डेफिशियंट फ्लू फ्लूड वॉल्यूम रिलेटेड टू ब्लीडिंग ड्यूरिंग प्रीमेचुअर प्लेसेंटल सेपरेशन फॉर दिस डिजायर आउटकम भी plan air nursing interventions for the client the first intervention is place bomen in a lateral uh, not supine position to avoid pressure in the vena cava next uh, intervention monitor fetal heart sound next uh, monitor uh, maternal vital sign to establish baseline data next uh, avoid performing any vaginal or abdominal examination to prevent further injury to placenta these are the interventions for this diagnosis 
after providing these interventions uh, we find their evaluation that is uh, maternal vital sign are all within the normal range especially the blood pressure you try uh, urine output should be more than uh, 30 ml per hour and uh, now fluid volume level is normal this is uh, the evaluation for uh, this nursing diagnosis number first deficient fluid volume related to the bleeding during premature placental separation तो ये था हमारा फर्स्ट डायग्नोसिस नेक्स्ट देखते हैं डायग्नोसिस नंबर सेकंड फॉर नर्सिंग केयर प्लान ऑफ एब्रेप्टो प्लेसेंटे ये नर्सिंग डायग्नोसिस नंबर सेकंड इनफेक्टिव टिश्यू परफ्यूजन रिलेटेड टू एक्सेसिव ब्लीडिंग मींस ड्यू टू एक्सेसिव ब्लीडिंग देयर इज एन इनएडुकेट और इनफेक्टिव टिश्यू परफ्यूजन डिजायर आउटकम होगा goal to maintain effective tissue perfusion for this uh, diagnosis we plan air interventions first assess patient's vital sign oxygen saturation and skin color this is first intervention next uh, intervention uh, second monitor for restlessness anxiety hunger and changes in level of consciousness uh, here this is uh, the second uh, uh, intervention next uh, monitor accurate accurately intake and output next uh, monitor fetal heart rate a fetal heart sound uh, continuously next uh, assess uh, uterine irritability abdominal pain and rigidity next assess uh, skin color temperature moisture turgor capillary refill next uh, Elevate extremity above the level of heart. Next, teach patient uh, not to apply uh, uterine pressure. Next, instruct patient and subordinate to report immediately sign and symptom of thrombosis. That 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 is leg pain, groin pain, uh, unilateral leg swelling, and pale skin. These are the sign for thrombosis. Then we assess. And instruct patient to identify this next uh, evaluation for this diagnosis. After providing these interventions, uh, normal tissue perfusion established and uh, uh, circulatory status improved. This is evaluation for uh, nursing diagnosis number second. Yeah, they grew second diagnosis. Next, take the nursing diagnosis number third here. For abrupt placenta, nursing care plan, risk for shock. This is third diagnosis related to significant blood loss about 10% of the blood volume, separation of the placenta and external or internal bleeding. bleeding. This is the third di nursing diagnosis means risk for shock. Shock ka khatra due to excessive blood loss uh, separation of placenta and external and internal bleeding to dikhte next desired outcome for this nursing diagnosis uh, number third risk for shock yahan par goal hoga hamara patient will uh, display hemodynamic stability and patient uh, will uh, regain vital sign within the normal range this is the our goal for this nursing diagnosis next nursing di interventions for this first intervention is assess for history or presence of condition leading to hypovolemic shock next second monitor for pers persistent or heavy fluid uh, or blood loss next assess vital sign and tissue and organ perfusion next uh, review laboratory data next collaborate in prompt treatment of underlying condition and prepare for or assist uh, with medical and surgical intervention next administer oxygen by appropriate route next administer blood and blood product as indicated next uh, monitor uterine contraction and fetal heart rate by external monitor next uh, with old oral fluid next Uh, measure intake uh, and output next uh, measure maternal loss uh, by 
weighing perineal pad and say when it tissue that has passed next maintain positive attitude about fetal outcome next provide emotional support to woman and her support person after providing these interventions we reach the uh, next step of this care plan that is uh, evaluation we here we evaluate the results of interventions that is uh, in hemodynamic stable and vital sign present within the normal range so this is the nursing diagnosis third that is shock next nursing diagnosis number fourth here for abrupt placenta acute pain related to sudden separation of placenta from the uterine ball and pain accompanying labor contraction during initial separation this is the nursing diagnosis means uh, pain due to or related to placental separation तो यहाँ पर हमारा गोल होगा पेशेंट विल रिपोर्ट ले पावर कंट्रोल ऑफ पेन एंड पेशेंट विल फॉलो प्रिस्क्राइब्ड फार्मेकोलॉजिकल रेजिमेंस मीन्स ट्रीटमेंट फॉर दिस नर्सिंग डायग्नोसिस फॉर दिस नर्सिंग डायग्नोसिस वी प्लान एयर नर्सिंग इंटरवेंशंस first intervention here assess for referred pain as appropriate next uh, notice client's uh, location of pain next note and investigate changes from previous report of pain next uh, acknowledge the client's description of pain and convey acceptance of client's uh, response to pain next uh, uh, monitor skin color and temperature and vital sign next note when pain occur next uh, provide comfort measures uh, quiet environment and calm activity next uh, administer analgesics as indicated next encourage adequate rest period these are the different interventions for this nursing diagnosis and after providing these interventions we evaluate the patient for effects of nursing interventions for this nursing diagnosis uh, after evaluation we find here the now patient feel comfort and pain uh, relieved so this is the nursing diagnosis number 4 acute pain of the nursing care nursing care plan of abrupt placenta to friends ye tha aaj ka hamara nursing care plan video nursing care plan on abrupt placenta ya uh, premature uh, placental separation ya abrupt placenta to aapko video kaisa laga iske liye apne likes comment zarur bhejega and uh, share this uh, nursing care plan video with our friends and uh, subscribe my youtube channel on nursing file and press bell icon also thank you